confined to your lips, lip, lip options. You're not defined by your lips option. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I would say that overall this week was really about like dramatic or statement lips. Like I've got one on right now, I wore this during the week, I wore some other ones, and I kind of like pretty much did my makeup around having a dramatic lip. So I do have some kind of like neutrally eye favorites, but I'm gonna talk about what's on the inner corner of my eyes. I really like that too. Neutral blush, blah, 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 blah. Got some good favorites to talk about, so let's get to it. For eyes this week, I was really pulling for quite a few drugstore goodies this week. So I was just feeling the drugstore makeup this week. So for my eyes, I pretty much wore this almost every single day, I think. This is the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1. Now the La Palette Nude 2 is my favorite. I like that one the best. But I do really like this one for if I know I want a dramatic lip, this is a great palette to pull for because it's just so neutral and it just works. I really like the mattes the most in this palette. The shimmers, like especially the lighter shimmers, I think they're just kind of okay, but I think the mattes are really, really nice in the whole shade range. Which, how many mattes are there? One, two, three mattes. The three mattes are really, really good. <laughs> and the shimmers are nice too, but the lighter shimmers, they, they need a little help, so I have a lighter shimmer kind of on my lid, but I don't even know if you can really see it. Um, with that, I used some MAC Fix Plus, so I was doing that several times this week. So I would say the standouts in this palette for me are the mattes and then the darker shimmery shades. So there they are right there. So you can just kind of see. I mean, they're pretty, but those don't really show up as much. But these, like those are the two mattes I have in my crease today, and they're just so nice. So I do think it's a really nice neutral palette. It just goes with a lot of different things. It's no fuss kind of makeup. You can just take it out and come up with an eye look. It's work appropriate. And then you have, you know, tons of options for your lips. You're not confined to your lip, lip, lip options. You're not defined by your lip options based on what's on your eyes. <laughs> your eyes are neutral enough that you can pick whatever you want for your lips. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then what I have for the inner corners of my eyes, I think this is such a pretty combo. I mean, you don't have to wear this with a dramatic lip. You can, you know, wear this with a pink lip or a more purpley lip or really whatever you want. I just think it's kind of like a fun, I don't know, something different pop of color on the inner corners of the eyes. So I'm wearing these two shadows. These are both from Makeup Geek. The main shadow that I think really kind of makes the look is one of the, I think this is one of the duochromes. This is Phantom. And then I have just a little bit of Whimsical, which is one of the foiled shadows. These would be really, really pretty together just all over the lid. I love her duochromes and I love her foiled shadows. I love her shadows in general. I love her makeup in general. It's just good. I mean, look at those. That's amazing. So Phantom is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Did I just say gorgeous? I said gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. No, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> it's like a pinky purpley kind of a color. It's just got that shift to it, that beautiful duochrome. And then whimsical is this really nice, like super light lavender, almost white, just gorgeous. So, or gorgeous, however you want to say it. <laughs> So I feel like Phantom just kind of like adds that sort of duochrome look and then Whimsical just brings a little bit more brightness to the look. That's why I added in just the tiniest bit of Whimsical. But I mean, I've worn this on my lid. I've worn this on my lid. I've worn them together. I think I've worn them together on my lid. Maybe I haven't. I know I've worn them separately on my lid. Blah, 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 blah. Getting off on another tangent. They're just beautiful. They're amazing. But Whimsical is just like super intense. That's what I was trying to say. It's very intense, very metallic. So that's why I just took the tiniest little bit of that just to add a teensy more bit of shimmery goodness there. But it's just that duochrome pink fun kind of pop of color. I really like it. For blush this week, man, I love this blush. This is so gorgeous. I feel like it's just one of those drugstore gems 
And while it does get some attention, I feel like it doesn't get nearly as much attention as it deserves because it's so good. And even I forget about it. Like I haven't worn this in a while and I just was absolutely loving it this week. Let me tell you what the heck it is. This is the CoverGirl Classic Color Blush in 590 Soft Mink. And yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I feel like I did wear this like maybe a few months ago, but it's not one that's always on the forefront of my mind. It's like, I love it when I wear it, but then I put it back in my collection and I kind of forget about it. And then I'll hear somebody mention it. I can't remember. Oh, one of my coworkers was actually wearing this. Like when we had our work trip back in October, she brought this with her. And you know, cause I love looking through people's makeup. Like I ask them before I go pick up their makeup bag. <laughs> I said, what do you got in there? And this was one of the things that was in there. So I've been meaning to pull this out and wear this anyway. So something will remind me to wear it again. And then I bust it back out and I'm like, why do I not remember this blush and wear it more often? Because it's just beautiful. It's, it's got a scent. First off, it's got a scent. It's got the CoverGirl scent, like that old school 80s and 90s CoverGirl makeup scent. That's what it smells like. So I don't mind the scent to it, but just know it has one. But it really is kind of an interesting texture because I don't even know how to describe it. It feels when you like swatch it, it feels like it's going to be one that just sticks there and doesn't blend because it's almost, it's not like it's tacky, but it's just a thicker kind of a texture is maybe how I would describe it, but it blends really well. So I don't know how it works. I guess the brush just, you know, helps, but I've tried it and worn it with different brushes. Like I've applied it with different brushes. So I don't know. Anyway, so it's kind of an interesting texture to it, but it works and it's beautiful. It's like a neutral pink, kind of a mauvey pink with a pretty strong glow to it, but it doesn't look like super duper over the top highlighty. It just looks nicely glowy. You know what I mean? Nicely glowy. It's just really, really beautiful on the cheeks. It's a go with everything kind of color and it's affordable, it's drugstore. Okay, let's talk about some dramatic lip colors. So first off, I wore one of the Ofra liquid lipsticks from their new collection, their Vintage Vineyards collection. This is the metallic from that collection. This is Napa Valley. Now I will tell you, Timothy was not so sure about this when I wore it. He was like, <laughs> he rocked, walked around the corner and he was like, whoa. I said, do you like my lip? And he was like, that that's a dramatic dark lip. That's that's interesting, which means he didn't like it, but he was being nice. <laughs> so it's kind of like a metallic-y, um, gray toned purple. So, I mean, it's, it's unique for sure. And even, I mean, let me get this swatch. I just, I can't even, it's getting bigger and bigger, but you're really going to be able to see the color. Even this color, I mean, it's out of my comfort zone too. I mean, I, I just, you know, I got to say this, that that's, this is not a color that I would wear everywhere and feel 100% confident. I have to be feeling a little bit sassy, you know what I mean? Because it's dramatic and it's dark and it's kind of a little bit um, edgy and I don't know, it's just one of those kind of colors. So it's out there, but I really do like it. I think it's beautiful. I love that shift to it. It's that darker gray purple a little bit grapey, you know, because this is kind of like a whole like wine themed collection. Love this whole collection so much. Um, so it's kind of that darker sort of grapey gray purple, but then it has that like pinky purpley shift. It's amazing. I love it so much, but it is that kind of out there funky fun color, but I think it's a lot of fun. I loved this red lip combo this week. I love these individually. I think they're beautiful by themselves, but they're really, really gorgeous together too. These are the Maybelline Color Blurs. This one is Cherry Cherry Bang Bang, and this one is Partners in Crimson. And I had a bunch of you guys ask me what I was wearing, um, like on Snapchat, and then, you know, in my video, y'all commented on it. I think it would, I think I wore this in my Target video. Yeah, because I wore, I wore the exact same plaid shirt and lip combo one day, and then I wore it again the next day because I really, really liked it. So, I don't mind. 
I'll wear the same shirt two days in a row. Who cares? I'll wear the same blue combo two, two days in a row. Who cares? So anywho, what I did is Partners in Crimson is like the darker of the two. So it's kind of more of the more dramatic statement kind of red. And then Cherry Cherry Bang Bang is kind of more of the lighter, brighter one. So this one is Partners in Crimson. This one is Cherry Cherry Bang Bang. So I kind of like did this one around the outside and then blended it into this one more on the inner part of my lips. Um, so yeah, it just kind of made it a little bit more of an ombre sort of a red lip. But I mean, they are beautiful by themselves too. So even if you just got one of them, they're gorgeous. I think you would love them. And I just, I'm all about the color blurs right now. I don't know why, but I'm just really loving them. I want to go bust out another color and wear that one next. I don't even know which color, but I want to go pick one and wear it because I'm just loving them. But I kind of want to keep these in my purse. I'm not going to lie because I really, really was feeling the red lip combo this week and these are a great combo and they wear really well too so that's another bonus and lastly this one is fun too this is the palladio velvet matte metallic cream lip color and this is in opulent i got this from octoly I'm wearing it right now it is just a really pretty purpley wine metallic color really like this one and Tim noticed this lip too, because I wore these actually in the same day. I started out with the Ofra one, and then after lunch, I put this one on. I do that a lot. When I'm excited to wear different colors, I'll bring a couple of them in my, in my purse. So I'll wear one, and then I'll bring one, and just because I want to play with lipstick. So I was wearing the Ofra one, and then I ended up wearing this one after lunch, and so he saw this one, and this one I think he wasn't quite as scared by, <laughs> because it's less purpley, and it's more wine toned, like more of that, I don't know, it's got more of that like berry red sort of a, a shift to it. You know what I mean? Really, really pretty. I mean, it's still a dramatic lip and you still got to be feeling a little bit sassy to wear it, you know? But um, I don't think this is quite as hard to pull off as a more kind of grayish purpley kind of a color. Really, really beautiful. I do like the formula on these. They start out, like now it's starting to set down now that I've had it on for a while, but when you first put it on, it does move. I had some on my teeth. You know, it does get on your teeth a little bit. So, but at the beginning, but then once it sets, it's more, like it is very long wearing, but it moves less once it sets. You know what I mean? But I think they're super comfortable, really nice and opaque. Is there something on my lip right now? Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, I like the formula on them. I really do. I like the little like short, stubby, cute packaging. I think it's really adorable. So I do really like this. This is the only metallic one that I've tried from their line, um, but I've tried the regular ones and I really, really like those. I have several colors in those and really like the formula. So I would say it's a pretty one to check out. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.